Laura, welcome to the show. I'm excited to chat today. Absolutely. Cannot wait. Yeah, there's so much we can do and for 20, 25 minutes. I'm not sure we could hit real estate, mindset, money, and everything at once. But I want to just kind of go back to your, your earlier years because I watch all the things you do now. And I'm wondering, okay, when did this start? When did this passion start for the money and the real estate and the entrepreneurial? Like how young and, and how? Really young. So I grew up on a farm in Nebraska, right? Middle America, uh, you know, traditional family farm. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then at 17 years old, when I was heading out to college, I don't even remember how I got to a seminar that Dennis, Dennis Waitley was at. And uh, you know how people give free gifts from the front of the room and Dennis was giving the book, Think and Grow Rich Away. So that was really, I always say my defining moment. Because reading that book, I remember like looking, going like, people think like this, like it was so resonant to me. It was like, oh my gosh. So then I started really studying. In fact, I was going to go to university for, uh, to be a lawyer and I ditched that and I got a business finance degree and uh, really started studying millionaires. I mean, really, how do they invest? What's their family structure? Not just the, what you see from the front, but for what you see from the back. 17, I started my own uh, robots instruction, private uh, personal training business. At 24, I got a huge opportunity to contract with Chevron to uh, actually build fitness centers on offshore oil rigs because I have an exercise physiology master's degree. So everybody has their little chapters in life. Fast forward, how did I get here? 1996, I uh, was just done working at Chevron in, that, in the health world and doing that advising. And uh, I had the opportunity, Bob Proctor called and said, if you want to fly to Scottsdale, you can meet Robert and Sharon. So we sat around Sharon Lecter's kitchen table and I became the master distributor of the cash flow game. So that's really like a big defining starting point. So from that, then, you know, I just really I became just an avid studier of still money and millionaires. And 1999 became, it was my millionaire year. My, uh, I would say Oklahoma was my millionaire market. I did uh, millions of dollars of real estate. And uh, I also, having been in Chevron, had gas and oil. So between gas and oil and real estate, millionaire 1999, and then 2001, left to do all this on my own. So started what was Live Out Loud. Still that company exists. Now our company's, our brand is Integrated Wealth. And um, probably around 2005 and six is when I started venturing into what people now know as, you know, being a shark, right? So I started flipping companies, buying companies. You know, I thought, well, heck, if you can remodel a house, you can remodel a business, right? That's honestly how, it's not that simple. But, you know, I just took the same principles of, you know, buy something that needs a lot of help and a lot of fix up and uh brought my skills to it so i'm doing a lot i have a lot of companies a lot of activities a lot of asset classes right now it's fun yeah i saw that that's why i said we could start almost anywhere so okay what just came to mind there was all those years talk yeah. about mentors that you had meaning the importance of and yeah the importance of is the main thing so i want to come back around and address the wicked smart audience with that so how important were mentors to you and, and is it always is it always and forever for you Always. In fact, at 17, um, because I wanted to like, you know, I went to the bank, right, quite frankly, and I got like a quick little job at a bank, and, but I wanted the investing department. And uh, it was a very small bank in Lincoln, Nebraska. And I uh, asked the bank president, I bumped into him and I said, you know, I want to mentor with you. And he looked at me like, well, I don't do that. And I said, no, I just want to ask you questions. Like, where do rich people invest their money? Why is, so, why is it so hard for people to become millionaires? So he was my first mentor. Um, you know, we, we stayed in touch till well into my 20s. Um, and then really probably 1920, I met Bob Proctor when I really kind of learned of this personal development world and knowing like how many speakers and instantaneously um, he in introduced me, you know, to what I call the good old greats, right? So I, you know, from Brian Tracy, Les Brown, Zig Ziglar, Mark Victor Hansen, Robert Allen, Ron LeGrand. I mean, I just got out there. And because I was selling the cash flow game, um, the other part of that business, I actually supported 18 other brands, like all the guys I just named, I actually sold all their stuff too. So I was quite the wealth building uh, portal. Um, that company was called Choice Performance back in the day. And it's like, how do you choose your performance? And that's when I started financial coaching because I just saw how many people couldn't put it, they just couldn't put it together. I mean, down to like basic, you know, P&Ls and balance sheets. So it kind of just organically happened. But the uh, mentoring even today. I mean, last year I had two very definitive mentors. This year, two very definitive mentors, two very definitive things I'm going for. Um, so later in life, I think mentoring, like for me at my level, it's really, I mean, I'm dealing with, you know, people in hundreds of millions, billionaires, 
uh, very specific things that I want to learn or want to bring to our community. But mentoring, just as a as a thing to do, I can't imagine living without them. I think it's the most ridiculous thing when I hear people say, you know, they're doing it on their own. I think why? I, I honestly, Chris, when I hear that, I think suffering. Like, why are you suffering? Like yeah. a mentor. In my mind, what I do for people too as a mentor provides two things, right? I give them access to my Rolodex and very strategically introduce them to move faster and get what they need faster. Um, so instead of six degrees of separation, there's like one. And then the other is um, avoid costly errors. And I really don't think people realize how critical that is. I mean, the, the costly errors that you know I avoided by having just extraordinary mentors who had already walked the path um, you know, I spent several years with Keith Cunningham, um, Ron Grand, clearly Bob Proctor was huge in my mental shifting from being a farm girl that, you know, was conditioned to work hard. Bob's the reason I got in the secret. Um, obviously Sharon Lecter, Robert Kiyosaki, and then you become more collaborative with a lot of them when you're at that level. But in the beginning, I think, you know, and I know we met and kind of reconnected on Clubhouse and there's a lot of this collaboration effort. And it's like, no, we collaborate when you actually can bring it. You know, a lot of people can't bring a game because they don't have a game. I said, how would we collaborate when I have a complete financial infrastructure, lawyers, accountants, you know, I can get stuff done in a minute and you've never even begun. That's not a collaboration, yeah. right? So that's a mentorship. So, you know, I'm really clear about that because um, I don't need any more projects that I have to, you know, do all the work. <laughs> I get, yep. no. I, I'm good at doing those myself. <laughs> So before I forget to ask you, because you hit that, how I don't want to do it at the end of the show. I want to do it now. How can these guys? We have a we we have a free uh, link for them to really get in front of you. I'm going to give the link, but I want you to talk about what the event looks like. The link is simply smartrealestatecoach.com forward slash Laurel. Um, but talk about the upcoming event because that's going to be something that I think every single one of them should be at. And I'd like to I'd like to hear from you. Absolutely. So. Um, when I create a millionaire, right, um, it goes in a couple of categories and they're really broad categories, um, but I help people make money, keep it. I call it a financial infrastructure from your entities, especially your real estate, like your wicked smart people. I mean, they should be running through a variety of LLCs, S Corp, C Corps, trusts. Um, I have the infrastructure of insurance. I've got, uh, I've, I have all of that, how to raise capital, how to get funding, all that stuff is the financial infrastructure and then how to invest diverse, you know, in a diverse way. So I do a workshop that really helps set up some real base of the business and it's called the marketplace. And it's really a place where people come. It's a 13 hour event. I used to, I used to say it was two days, Chris, and people were like, oh my gosh, it's two days. I said, all right, it's 10 to six one day, it's 10 to three the next day. It's 13 hours of time. And I'm really gonna shift your life with money. And uh, you, you come with a product and service. And what's interesting for real estate folks is they're always looking for either a deal or the investor. And I'm going to teach them a model that I've lived with having become a real estate millionaire of how do you build a database that you can always monetize, always, um, right? And you've done it. You've done it really well. So how do you build that from very small sales, which builds your database, to then being able to have it on, you know, a regular investor? I mean, I have people who have become, you know, regular investors, whether it's hard money loans to partnerships to you know, all sorts of different deal structure. I love deal structure. It's probably my favorite creative thing of this whole space. So uh, they can get in touch by clicking the link. In addition to um, uh, the marketplace, I'm gonna give you two tickets to the marketplace. There is a commitment fee, um, just so I, you don't blow it off. If you blow it off, we keep the money. Um, so it's a $47 commitment fee. So you just commit to the date that works. Every three weeks we do one. And then uh, those of you who are really, really advanced, uh, we'll probably pull you out of there a little before and, uh, just you know, have a different conversation. Uh, but I have my Millionaire Maker book there. I have a, I'm, I'm actually in the middle of writing a book called How to Make Your Kids Millionaires. Um, so all that pre-work of how to never pay your kid an allowance, how to work with your kids, how to put um, this 21st century lemonade stand, I call it together. There's a lot, there's a lot on this link that we're gonna give you all sorts of gifts, thousands of dollars of gifts. And really it's the opportunity to get to, uh, get to know me. Love it. So put that in the show notes as well. And, and so I have a question as a follow up to that, because I'm thinking through all the Wicked Smart listeners, and I know you've dealt with this, I've heard some of your, your recent videos. Why is it that, okay, so you and I know that if they go to the event, they'll be affected long term in a positive way and in a wealth way. Why is it that only a small percentage of them will act? And why is that always the case in life? Like, why is it that a small percentage of people will take action on this stuff? 
I, 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 my first word is procrastination. I think so many people uh, live their life, and I'm going to give a little lesson here, through what I call inherited behaviors. Like you have a pattern of your life that's extremely comfortable, or you you filled it up with things that you think are important. And I would, I would challenge, and I've learned this again from great mentors, I mentor to the same theme, is look at your calendar and look at your checkbook. That's going to tell you what's important to you. And are you living a revenue producing day or is your day just busy? I'll say that again. Like, are you doing a revenue producing day? As an entrepreneur and a wealth builder, revenue producing days are something you build into your calendar. Um, you build it into how you're going to spend your money, how you're going to invest your money. So I don't talk about just how to get money, how to create new money and how to create deals. I talk a lot about how do you spend it? How do you use corporations for the proper business deductions? So I think a lot of people just think, um, especially too, Chris, I'm going to speak to the younger, like the millennials. I got, I got a lot of millennials following me right now, but there's no urgency. It's like, man, I'm 32, I'm 35, like I'll get to it. They're sort of like, I'll get to it. And I'll say, well, why don't you look up the pathway here? You know, 92% of the people above 60, right? That means only 8% have financial plans. And what most people don't realize is that compounding power of putting money away early. Like I was 34 when I finally hit my millionaire status because I was spending a lot of money. I was single, I was traveling. Um, and honestly, the reason I made my millionaire plan so critical is I got pregnant and uh, I was going to be a single mom. He didn't want to be a dad. So 1999 was a pivotal year to like get serious and sequence and, and make it happen. And I, I put it all together and in six months, made, you know, became a millionaire. And which is why I do my promise, you know, my millionaire maker book have it right here, right? This is a three to five year millionaire plan and it's not difficult. It's different. And I think honestly to your answer, just people put it off. It's like, yeah, I'll get to it. You know, maybe tomorrow I'll think about it. And, but what I really see, cause I coach so many people is they're just ingrained in these inherited behaviors of just doing the same thing, living comfortably, living complacently. They say they want something but they're not really willing to do, like you got to be motivated and driven to go get these kind of goals. And you really yeah, got to have a good why. Like my why was I was a single mom and there was no way I was going to go, you know, not like it's a bad thing people do it, but I, I was living in Sausalito, California. I lived in New Orleans, Manhattan Beach. I mean, I live in Lake Tahoe. Like I live in cool places. You know, my, my saying for investors is I live where I want, I invest where it makes sense. So I invest heavily in the Midwest right now. I'm building in Boise, massive development company up there. Um, but I, I just, I see people just procrastinate it. It's like, yeah, I'll get to it. I'll get to it. And in the meantime, their day is just full of stuff. That's not like, what's it for? And there's just no purposeful living in it. So how about the person now go from procrastination general to let's micro it down to say, well, let me start with some context. So after 08, when I got beat up, I wanted to join a mastermind group and I didn't have the money at the time. So I just started asking around. I found one of my attorney friends and I said, look, you put up the 25 grand, I'll give you a piece of my deals until you're hundred percent return. That's because I knew I could do it. He had faith in me. So what do you say to someone that right now, directly you're sitting in front of an audience of 300 and they're all going, yeah, but I can't afford a mentor. What do you say to them? Do exactly what you did. You figure it out. And um, I was 19, 20 years old and Bob Proctor's mentor program was 25 grand. I was in college um, having to pay my way through college. And it was a $25,000 ticket. I said, Bob, are you out of your mind? Like, do you realize who I am? Like, I, I don't even, I'm a student. I didn't have, I didn't have that kind of money. And you figure it out. So he, you know, he, he didn't do it. But one of his salespeople honestly helped me craft how I could go make it. So I went, I went out and made it. So I did, I actually put it on a credit card. They showed me how to increase my credit limits. And, and I went out and made it. So I don't think people to that point, let's go down that little path. I don't think people trust themselves. Right. And they don't trust themselves to deliver. Like I always trust myself to deliver. Like I know I'll say yes to an audacious opportunity and I will deliver it. And, and because I know how to get a team. And one of the things that I, that I live by is say yes and figure out who knows how to help you. Not how, I don't want to know the how I'm going to hire the how, or I'm going to partner to the how, like, I don't know how, how to do half of the businesses I'm in. I don't need to know the technique of those things. I put those people on the team and it's okay to give equity to what you can't hire to those kind of people. So you figure it out. I love what you did. Um, and I think people say, oh, I can't go into credit card debt. Um, here's the other thing I, was, I say to people when they say they can't afford it. Well, number one, get to my marketplace. I'll teach you how to make the money. I guarantee I'll teach you how to make the money, but you have to do everything I say. In the order that I say it, sequencing is critical. And then the other thing I say is look around. You probably have a car that's more expensive. 
than a tuition price. Like, like my mastermind and mentoring is 27,500. It's a lifetime, one-time fee. That's it. It's super simple. Like I don't charge it every year and I don't do that. But I always say, you know, go out and look in your, you know, driveway. How expensive are the vehicles, the RVs, the boats, the crap, all that stuff that you might have a fun life, but you have a kind of broke life, right? And for you to go to the next level, you're going to have to, you're going to have to pay to play. And it, it's, uh, I paid, I don't know how many, I probably well, well, well over a million in hiring mentors, but I've also made millions and millions. By the way, I've lost millions and millions. I mean, it's just a bunch of more numbers and more creative deal structure. So if you want it, you'll figure it out. Like, for in 2007, here's another big, you know, yes moment is I knew having, uh, I had my daughter in 2006, um, that if I wanted to do what I wanted the way, cause I also was a, you know, uh, single mom, pretty much for my whole, uh, career. If I wanted to do what I need needed to do, I needed to buy a private plane. So it was a $3 million aircraft that put a million down financed the rest at 1.8, which is like free money. So I was never going to pay it off. By the way, people do not understand good debt at all, Chris. It drives me crazy how people pay off things they shouldn't pay off. And just they're, they're just scared of keeping long-term cheap debt. Um, but I figured out and I turned back to my company. I said, okay, company, it's a $50,000 a month ticket to manage this aircraft. So we're going to make more money. And so I'm very demanding about what you know the commitments are. But I also knew what it would do to our team and it blew us into a $30 million company by just being able to move around very quickly around the United States, Canada and uh, do, do business. And I had that personally until 2019 uh, when I you know, partnered and sold with my pilot. <laughs> but I just, some of you live such complacent lives and, but you want a big goal, but you're not willing to jump. And honestly, Chris, there's a big part of when I go back to that, you don't trust yourself. So then what I say is to trust us as mentors, trust Chris, trust me. Right. Um, Bob Proctor had the greatest line, you know, way back in the day. He told me, he said, let me, he said, I'm going to believe in you until you believe in me. And I still have my clients that all the time. If you don't trust yourself, you know, I probably trust you more. I try, I, I believe in you more than you do. So we just got to start doing the right activities. And a lot of people don't know what to do. And, and between you and I, you know, because what you do too, the education out there is horrible. You know, there's only a, a, like a few really great places that people can get you know, delivered a great education with a great result. No, I agree. Cause we both do kind of what you just alluded to. There's a, there's a gap in the education space. In my opinion, we call it bridging the gap, but that is people take a course or a seminar and then they, they, fl they, they flounder. Um, yeah. You and I both get in the trenches in different realms and, and help them actually do it. So we get results period, as long as you want to do it. So I love it. Um, yeah. Okay. So we brought them from single mom to uh, buying a jet. That was absolutely perfect trail. So I love it. So there's no doubt that the evidence of success is there. The coaching is powerful. They need to get to the event. Um, let's transition to maybe talk about your last couple of real estate deals because this is primarily real estate in mindset. So I'd love to hear about your last couple of deals. Oh, I'm having like the greatest run. So I do uh, a little different model because uh, like I'm very active with my clients. Um, I'm very active in the masterminds. I'm very active in the businesses. So I partner with people. So my, like my lane is to bring the deal, typically the capital, um, put very creative deal structures. So right now, like when uh, all this COVID hit a little before that, we actually decided my husband's Canadian and, uh, we wanted to work visa him into the country. So I partnered with some of my clients, um, that had been clients for two, three years, and we're doing millions of dollars of development in Boise. Well, Boise happens to be one of the hottest demand markets in the country. And when Newsom did what he did to California, they are in droves moving out of California. So we're building from single family. We're just finishing that. Um, I think we're kind of moving from the single family development. We're doing fourplexes. We have 16 fourplexes under contract. We have two RV parks that we're going to be putting what are called Maverick, which is a gas station convenience store leasing on our properties. We're building uh, big apartments and opportunity zone. We're doing big construction contracts. So Boise have a massive team. Uh, well, well, well into hundreds of millions in development uh, and building. And we're just keep buying land. Love buying land. Uh, I have some land in Cathedral City, Palm Springs area that I'm going to build out probably into storage. That's more of a 20, you know, two and three, four project. I have land in Hawthorne, Nevada. I'm uh, putting a, a marijuana cannabis grow. I have the cannabis license. And then big, 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 uh, we're doing apartment uh, remodels, developments, buy, hold, buy, flip in Topeka, Kansas. Uh, all over Kansas, Ohio, 
Um, I have Airbnbs out in uh, the Ozarks. I do some fun Air Airbnbs. Um, we have a boat rental company next to those. Uh, and it's, we, we, we kill it in the Ozarks, we're having fun there. So I have a lot. And that is all like current and active today. And people say, how do you have such a big portfolio? Because I have amazing partners. That's not just one partner. That's a variety of partners, different markets, different things. Where I'm going to head to, and I have a, little, a team working on it right now, is assisted living. Um, everyone knows that's, that's coming so between strip malls. I have a client that uh, bought a golf course and turned it into an active living facility up in, uh, uh, in northern Kentucky. So we're actually going to take a tour. The other thing I do with my clients to help show them how we do what we do. Like we just got back from Boise. We did a two-day real estate tour uh, last October during the pandemic. 80-something people came out. We did a bus tour in Kansas showing how we do the apartments and the opportunity zones. And then we're headed to Northern Kentucky sometime uh, early in, in uh, the beginning of 2022 to see how you take an 18 hole golf course, there's still nine holes and he redeveloped the entire thing. Restaurants, active living, amazing. He did it all by himself on private financing. So we just Very show cool. people how do these things work? And you know, Chris, there's nothing better for adults than modeling. Like you can read all you want. I mean, I got books, I got tons of books. I got five New York Times. You can read all you want. You can listen to me all you want on YouTube or you know, wherever you want to listen to me, but there is nothing better than we, you know, get our jeans and boots on and we head to the streets. Yeah, that's why I said interactive. There is no better way. Yeah. Um, so here's what I'd like to ask you as we wrap up, Laurel, um, and then we'll repeat some of these things we want them to go to. Um, I always got the show, you've done a ton of them, and I think, man, I didn't say that, or I wish I added that, or they didn't ask me this. What's a, a nugget or two or something you want to bring up that I didn't ask you before we wrap up? I would say it's more encouragement to those listeners that you can do this. Um, I did this as a farm girl from Nebraska, bootstrapped it all, didn't know a darn thing, used mentors, uh, aggressively used mentors, not just signed up and was a passive player. I was very active in the, in the mentorships and the masterminds that I joined to get where I got. Um, and trust yourself. And the only way you're going to do that, you know, Chris, one of the things I always say is if you want to be a millionaire, follow us. I mean, get close. Like, when you're a client of mine, and I'm, I'm, I don't know how intimate you get with yours, I mean, everybody has my cell phone. I mean, we're texting. We're so active during the day. I'm looking at deals. I'm looking at contracts. I'm, you know, help, we're running numbers through our tax teams and our entity teams, and we're, we're really in there. We roll up our sleeves. So um, if you want it, it's up to you. That's what I would say to the listeners. And uh, get off the couch. Don't have COVID coma. I call, you know, a lot of people have COVID coma, and they just are having a hard time getting motivated again. And uh it's time. It's, in fact, you, you're missing some of the greatest, most volatile. This volatile market and what's going on has created more opportunities. Like I have bought more companies in this last year because they fell down and I know how to fix them. Um, so I don't stay in them long. I get in, maybe give us some you know, of my expertise or money, and then I get out and I flip out. So there's a lot to do. If you want to be a shark, my God, it is the greatest economy you've ever seen in the history of your life. I don't know that we'll have such a volatile market, Chris, in so many asset classes. So move is what I would say to folks out there. Move, do something. Should go to no, my that's market. awesome. That's awesome. I, I said that was my last one, but I have another question. So I tend to look at six months out, a year out, and say, what do I need next? And then go find that person or that organization or that mentor. Do you do similar? Do you have a, a, a variety of, I have a longer-term mentor, I have a short-term, you know, how do you look at your personal mentorship? And we'll wrap up with that. Um, great question. So I definitely have what I call the longer term, more visionaries. Those that kind of keep me on track. Like right now, somebody I go back to frequently is Dan Kennedy. I love Dan. Um, I'm in, I'm in very, and again, I, different relationships like with other real estate folks, but we're, we're so at di a similar levels. I wouldn't call it mentoring, but really, really intent sharing about how we're doing things. And then like right now, I'm launching a brand new YouTube channel. So I hired a team, like a team to was like really go for it, uh, relaunching some things. So when it's very categorical, you know, those are short term. And then I do the long term as well. Like we're getting ready uh, April next year. We're pushing our book out, Make Your Kids Millionaires. Uh, April is Financial Literacy Month. And it's a book written to parents on how do you parent your kids ages zero to five, six to eight, nine to 12, 13, right? So every age. So it's like an 18 year book guide for parents on how do you parent your kid in financial literacy and money and entrepreneurship. So we're really going to like, that'll be another group of people that will take that to uh, a bestseller. So we're getting those teams in order. But I think the key that I appreciate you bringing up 
is a lot of people, you know, they're, they're, they're planning for today and looking at today versus looking long-term. Like I, most of 2022 kind of planned out, like I know what's going to happen. I know when my marijuana grows are coming in, when I got harvest, I've got, you know, a pretty big calendar of things that have to hit. Another, I got to share, can I share one more asset? That's super fun. Yeah, absolutely. So <clears throat> when you get to a certain level, you know, and those of you in real estate, I have a lot of people in real estate that are over leveraged in real estate in the stock market. So I love alternatives. So I did a CBD deal in 2018 and it didn't go well. And it was with a security lawyer and just the whole thing didn't work out. Um, and in fact, one guy really kind of screwed up the whole, the whole, the whole business. And so I said, well, we can all go to court and we can all fight and lawyers will make money and we'll lose and, you know, come up with some settlement or let's just settle now. So what else do you have? So we were looking down his list of assets and I'm like, what's the black hole? And so I flew to Northern California to the NFL alumni chapter and the black hole is the notorious Raider Nation fan base for the now Las Vegas Raiders. It was in Oakland Raiders. I was in the last season. So I own that. I own that. I, pick, I, I came back to my team, um, looked very strategically because I knew I couldn't work it. Um, but anyway, fast forward, you know, the Las Vegas Raiders stadiums opening uh, football season. We just did a big draft party. Uh, people say, well, how do you make money? Well, we have memberships that go from $50 to $5,000. We do football games. We do tailgate parties. We did a draft party, had 480 people pay, you know, $40 a ticket. They bought all sorts of uh, stuff. When COVID hit, we sold $30,000 of the black hole, you know, Raider Nation masks. So that's a fun one. So when you get to a place where you can have fun assets, uh, I also bought a Ford dealership during the pandemic last July. I mean, so a lot of you, like when I say, like, there is so much going on. It's like, get out, get out of COVID coma. There's so much going on. Come to the playing field and, uh, you know, let's play. I have a lot All of right, fun. So when, when do you sleep? Fun. When do you sleep? I love sleeping. I love sleeping. I'm not one of those. I stay up all night kind of people. Um, I have great team. I got to say the teams yeah. and my partners are phenomenal. I don't do anything alone. Like I have too many projects to just go solo at something. So I always have team. They're either contracted team or they're legal partners inside of an entity. We've got a lot of partners. So I stay way on the top, you know, making the deals and structuring. I don't get down in the weeds, get down in the weeds for all of you. I always say, if your head's down on the keyboard, you're going to miss the deals because they're up here. <laughs> love it. Love it. And for those of you that didn't get this on YouTube, you're just listening to it on audio, you're missing some of the, uh, the things we're insinuating, doing and moving around with. So you need to catch the energy of Laurel uh, on YouTube. So jump over to YouTube and type in Smart Real Estate Coach. Laurel, I appreciate your candor and your sharing and your energy and all the stuff that you've accomplished and all the people you're touching. And I can't wait to do more with, our, with both of our communities. So thanks again. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. And uh, remember, go to the link. I'll see you in my marketplace. SmartRealEstateCoach.com forward slash Laurel.